What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Legacy and today we're going to do the top 15 counters for Origin Form Giratina. Now I made a video like similar to this for top 15 counters for, what was it, Alter Form, but it is slightly different for Origin Form. It's pretty close, but the only difference is the move sets on uh, Origin Form are Shadow Claw, Dragon Tail for the fast moves, whereas versus with the Alter Form it's what, Shadow Claw and Dragon Breath. Now the charge moves on Origin Form are Shadow Ball, Ominous Wind, Dragon Pulse. For Alter Forms like Ancient Power, Dragon Claw, what was the other one? Shadow Sneak. So it's a little different. For example, this one has two Ghost moves, whereas the Alter Form has Ancient Power. Both of all of uh, or, uh, uh, Origin Forms moves are stabs. So, okay, let's start with a f number fifteen. I think there was some slight differences. Number fifteen, we're gonna go with. I do fifteen because. There's just so many Megas now, and they kind of clog the list <laughs> when it comes to this thing. The Megas are just so good. Maybe I should only include one Mega on the list. Now, the uh, same thing as with uh, Ultra Form. This thing has five weaknesses. Fairy, Dark, Dragon, Ice, and Ghost. So I'm just going with the general top 15, because like if you get cloudy weather, then you're going to want to go with Fairy. If you get windy weather, you're going to want to go with Dragon. Now, if you get snow, which I rarely get snow, it's pretty rare for me. I get it like two, three days, three days a year. Pretty rare for me. But people who live in colder climates, yeah, you guys will probably get snow. So, especially this time of year, so you'll probably use your ice type. The ice types just aren't that great anyway. And if you guys, uh, to me, fog is a myth. I never see fog, so I can't remember. I think I haven't seen fog in like two years. But yeah, if you get fog, dark, ghost. But like I said, this is just a general top 15 counters. And we're starting at number 15 with Shadow Tyranitar. I had TM one of mine, a Bite Crunch. Yeah, Bite Crunch. Now, Tyranitar is going to do well against the two Ghost moves. going to resist due to its Dark type. And then Dragon Pulse is neutral, so it's fine there. That's number 15. Now, let's go to number 14. This thing is so good. Hydreigon. Hydreigon. What moves do you want a Hydreigon? You want Dragon Breath... Brutal Swing, so it's kind of weird. You expect it. I guess Dragon Breath is just a better move. It's going to charge up your Brutal Swing faster than Bite, looks like it. I'm not going to TM it because I use Bite right now for, like, the the Bennett and stuff. But, yeah, Dragon Breath, Brutal Swing for Hydreigon on number 14. Number 13, yeah, but the Brutal Swing is a Community Day move for, just to let everyone know, Rayquaza, Rayquaza with Dragon Tail Outrage. Please give us Mega... Rayquaza soon because I can't wait to power up my shiny. God, but I need more XLs. Yeah, Rayquaza needs to come back. I need to power up my... It's not a hundo, but it's one of the best shinies I have. 96%, not bad. Not bad, attack 15. So, yeah, that's number, what, 13? Number 12, no surprise here, is Shadow Mewtwo. It's just so good. Shadow Mewtwo. Now, what moveset do you want on Shadow Mewtwo? You want Psycho Cut, Shadow Ball... Yeah, both of mine are Psycho Cut Shadow Ball. Now, oh wait, we forgot to talk about two few things. Let's go back to Hydreigon. Just quick, quick. So Hydreigon against the Dark, against the the Ghost moves is going to resist, so it's going to do really well. But then against Dragon Pulse is going to be weak, so it's going to take a lot of damage there. Same thing with Ray Rayquaza. The Ghost moves is going to be neutral, and then it's going to be super. Uh, it's going to get hurt by the by the Outrage. Now Mewtwo is a little weird because it's going to be neutral against the Dragon Pulse, but it's going to be super effective by the Ghost type moves, but it just does so much damage. So like, yeah, the, looking at it right here, you could argue, you could put Hydreigon over Rayquaza and Shadow Mewtwo because it's a little tankier, but they don't. it doesn't do as much damage. So you could like kind of mess around with these three. I just went with the one who does the most damage, but yeah, Shadow Mewtwo against those Ghost moves is going to be very glassy, and then Rayquaza against the Outrage, so yeah, maybe we should move Hydreigon up there, but it's just Shadow Mewtwo is just that Psycho Cut Shadow Ball just does so much damage. So it, you you could go either way with those three; they're all pretty close. Depends on what you value. Do you value tankiness or do you value damage? So it, it's just up to you. Me, I value damage because you guys know I like to duo solo, so I want the Pokemon that hits the hardest. So yeah, Shadow Mewtwo. This is my list after all, so yeah, I'm gonna go Shadow Mewtwo. All right, let's go to the next one. Is uh, this is wrong? This thing's supposed to be like, hold on. 
Oh yeah, yeah. This this is this is definitely wrong. Yeah, yeah. This is this is supposed to be over here. I think. Okay, sorry, I, I, I messed up. Why is this thing over here? I completely messed up on my list. Okay. I think I copied the wrong one, so we got Mega here, and then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I fixed it. So next up is the Shadow Latios. What moveset is my Shadow Latios? Hey, what number is this? That was 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, number 11 is Shadow Latios. I just powered mine up. Like two days ago. You want Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw. Now, Shadow Latios does a ton of damage, but it's like, it's gonna get wrecked by all the movesets, but it just does so, it's just, it does so much damage. Like I said, I value DPS, so yeah, but Shadow Latios is gonna be weak to the ghost moves and the dragon moves, so it's gonna be weak to everything. Maybe you should guys steer away from this thing, but still, like I said, the damage, it does a lot of damage, so that's why it makes it at number 11. Or is the number 11? Yeah, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Okay, now let's go to the top 10. Shadow and Mamo. Yeah, Shadow Mamo. I guess I'll talk about both of these right now. Shadow Mamo is 10 and 9. Shadow Weavile. They're both... They're pretty close. I'll give Shadow Weavile the slight edge over Shadow Mamo because I think it well let's look at the the move sets. Yeah, I'll go number 10 Mamo. So we'll talk about Mamo first. Like I said, they're pretty close, but Mamo, you want powder snow avalanche, not mud slab. Let me TM this one right now. Yeah, you want powder snow avalanche. So Mamo is against everything's neutral, so it's gonna be okay there. But why why I give Weavile the slight edge is because of the dark typing. Shadow Weavile is gonna do really well against Ominous Wind and the other move, what is it? Shadow Ball and Snarl Avalanche is I think Snarl Avalanche is a better move set than Powder Snow Avalanche. Well, I guess just Snarl since it, it they're both doing super effective, but Snarl is a little bit better. But yeah, Shadow Weavile is up there, number nine. So let's go to number eight. We did Shadow Weavile. I think yeah, this is where we're getting to basically a bunch of megas. Yeah, it's all megas now. So we'll go with Absol. Mega Absol, you don't want payback on your Absol. I keep forgetting to TM this. You want Snarl, Dark Pulse. Okay, so at least I have the right fast move. Now, Mega Absol trumped a lot of these Pokemon just because of the Mega Boost. It doesn't do as much damage as my, like, everything on the list, but the Mega Boost just trumps it over all of the others. So that's why it's up there. The Mega Boost is just so broken. Okay, let's go after Mega Absol. Is another Mega. Basically, it's all Megas from here on out, except like two is Banette, Mega Banette that just came out, Pokemon Go. Mega Banette, the problem with Mega Banette, well, let's talk about Absol before I got to talk about. Absol is going to resist the Ghost Moves, which makes it really good, and then the Dragon Pulse is neutral. The problem with Banette, Banette hits way, way harder than Absol, but it's weak to the Ghost Moves. That's what kind of hurts it. You can want Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball on your Banette. Does my Banette have that move set? Yeah, Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. But against the Ghost Move, it's going to get wrecked. But it just hits so hard. Plus the Mega Boost, that's why I put it slightly over Absol. Okay, next up is my Latias. My Shundo. Here it is. This is my pride and joy. My Shundo Lucky Latias. <laughs> I need more XLs. I didn't rate it enough the last time it was here. So yeah, on Mega Latias, you want what? Dragon Breath Outrage? Is that the move set? Yeah, Dragon Breath Outrage. Now, I think, yeah, Banette does more damage than Latias, but Latias is just a little, not a little, it's way tankier. But the but Mega Latias has the same problem as, as Shadow Latios, where it's weak to all the moves. But it's still tankier than Banette, plus the Mega Boost, like I said, is so good. And it does a lot of damage. Like, it does more damage than Rayquaza. At least DPS-wise, it hits a little harder than Rayquaza, so that's why I put it up there. At number... What number are we on? Let's see. Mama was 10, Weewa was 9, Absol was 8, Banet was 7, Latias was 6. So now we're at the, what, top 5? Yeah, we're at the top 5 now. Let's go with number 5. 
We got two more. Well, how many more megas do we have? Two more mega. No, three more megas. Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, Snarl Foul Play on Mega Houndoom. Now, Mega Houndoom again, it's, since it's Dark type, it's going to resist both the Ghost moves and then the Dragon Pulse will be neutral. So it's just overall, it's the second best. It's the second best Mega. Or, th sorry, third best Mega. I'm used to it being the second best, but no, now it's the third best. It just doesn't do as much damage as the other two, but it's pretty tanky thanks to its dark typing. So, yeah, we'll put it at number five. Okay, now let's go to number four. Number four, yeah, yeah, number four is a Shadow Dragonite. Shadow Dragonite, these things are so good. I'm trying to get more Excel, so I'm really looking forward to the Dratini Community Day. Dragon Tail Outrage on Shadow Dragonite. Shadow Dragonite DPS wise is third on the list. Now it's a little tankier. I guess I'll just talk about this is what number four. We'll talk about number three is Shadow Salamance. They're the last two non megas on this list. So now DPS wise, Shadow Salamance does more damage, but Dragonite's slightly tankier. So, but I still prefer Shadow uh, Salamance. Like it's not that much of a difference, the, the bulk. So yeah, Shadow Dragonite. Is number four, and then number three, Shadow Salamance with Dragon Tail Outrage as well. Now, the only problem is Dragon Tail Outrage's legacy on Shadow Salamance. Like I said, Dragon Tail Outrage, you're going to have to either Elite Charge him unless you save some from Community Day. That's why I said we need another bag on Community Day. All right, let's go to number top two. Let's start with number two, which is... Well, I, I guess, yeah, we, talked, we didn't talk about that. With the Shadow Dragonite and the Shadow Salamance... The ghost moves are neutral, but the dragon pull is going to hurt it, so that's the only issue. Now, number two is Mega Latios. Now, Latios, just like Shadow Latios and Mega Latias, it's going to be weak to all three moves, all three of Giratina Origin Forms moves. But the Mega, like, it's still DPS wise, it's only behind number the number one Pokemon on the list and the two dragons, so it still does a ton of damage. It's not too. Glassy, it actually faints wise, it's kind of similar to Shadow Salamance. The Mega Boost is what puts it over Salamance for sure. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't. And you want Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw. This, I use this as a psychic. I need to TM this. I'll TM it later. But yeah, Mega Latios number two. And number one, no surprise. I did a video like a six months ago. I think it's the first video I ever made where I put myself on camera. Six months ago, it was the top 10 Pokemon. For raids and Pokemon Go, Mega Gengar was number one, and I think it's still number one even now, six months later. You want Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball here? I guess that's the best move now. Dragon Pulse is gonna be neutral, obviously. Now it's gonna get hurt by Shadow Ball and Ominous Wind, but it just does so much damage, just way too much damage. It hits way harder than Shadow Salamance, which is the second one on the list for DPS wise, and. Uh, and plus the Mega Boost, it just, it's by far, I think, the number one counter. Not even close. Mega Gengar. And there you guys have it, the top 15 for Giratina, Giratina Origin Form. I didn't, I kind of didn't want to make this video because the counters are pretty close to the Altered Form. But just in case you guys wanted to see it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll see all of you next time. Bye.